everyone i'm back on my youtube channel and today i'm going to tell you how to create a translator app in just two seconds with the platform of thunkable so without wasting time let's start So the my screen has opened now I will create an app translator app so I will click on create new app and I will name translator and then click on the create app so as you all can see in the video that my screen has come on my desktop now what I will do is just change the color first so i want it to be green light green yes it seems to be better now i want a button which will be named translator but let's first just add so our button is on my screen i want to text instead of button i want to text translator say translator fine Next, I want a text input above the translator, so I will drag and drop. This is the place where the users will be able to write whatever they want to translate. Okay, now in the size, I want the relative size to be 20 or say 30. So I will write just 30. Next, I want a label, the place where the translated sentences will come and this is good but I want the text, the font size to be 20 whatever so comes. Then I want that that font should be bold and next I want, I will come to the margin. And I want that the label component should be just above, a little bit above the text input component. So I will here write 10 and translate. I want it also to be shifted. So on the top, I will write 20. So it's done. Now the main component that is the working component that I want here is the translator. I will in the add components, I will write the translator and drag and drop so translator is an invisible component i've added it now the source language should be english but the, what should be the target language let's say japanese no korean or let's say russian I'm taking here Russian. You can take any of the languages. Okay, now our designing is done. Now we let's move on to the blocks option. Now, in the blocks. Now we are on the blocks. Now, first of all, we will click on the button one option and say when button one clicked. So when button one is clicked, what it will do? So let's go to the translator and drag and drop it. Now call translator. Hello, and uh, this is this. Okay, now I want. Uh, now I will be going in the label option and drag and drop this component here. Then do component here from label one. I'm taking it from label one. And what next I will be doing is I will take up this result uh, result component and just drop it here in the label option and next in the translator we are going to go to the text input and drag this text input one get text and drag and drop here and that's done our our translator app is now created now the only thing is left is to just light test it 
so I will just like test so here you can see translate so for let us first write the color of the sky is is blue the color is sorry the color of the sky is blue so i have written the uh, text that i want to be translated now i will click on the translator button so let's see what happens so here our translator app is working it translated so that's complete our app so make your own apps and keep on watching this youtube channel and do subscribe my channel thank you